so disclaimer my hands are blue because uh yeah i didn't think about wearing gloves so when you do this diy maybe think about wearing gloves because this will happen okay it's the only thing i failed at though at this diy which is kind of surprising because every other diy seemed to mess up so hi everyone so <laughs> my hands oh no Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun video for you because I'm doing my first ever DIY video, which is interesting. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY galaxy tie-dye type t-shirt, which is really easy actually. Like you would be surprised how easy it is. Okay, so the other day I was going through my wardrobe and I came across a top that inspired me to do this video. When I was in year 10 in year 10 so when i was about 15 no for 14 15 when i was about 15 um i were i studied expressive arts and for one of the modules i had to be an alien so i had to make my own costume i had to diy loads of different stuff and i went to the art teachers and they told me about this method I came across this top the other day and i was just like dang on that's a stylish top you know so this is what it looks like it's like tie-dye and it's kind of galaxy-esque, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I thought I'd make it again and I thought I'd show you how to do it because it's really freaking easy and fun and it's really awesome. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is get a plain white t-shirt you can get it anywhere personally i wanted to make it a crop top like just a quick little tip if you measure out where you want to um cut it off just tuck it underneath and have a look in the mirror see what that looks like and if it looks good then mark it off and whatever i actually had a top that i quite like the length of it actually says i liked you yesterday on it so <laughs> relatable um but I had that top and so I kind of used that as a guide because that was kind of the length that I wanted the top to be. So I used that as a guide and then I just marked it off with a ruler and a sharpie and then I was able to cut off the end. first thing that you want to do is prepare your workspace now this is gonna get messy it's a dye so it's gonna kind of get everywhere you can't tell by my hands um so prepare your workspace i just put down a load of different um like old magazines and i ripped it up and put it on a table and that was fine and then you want to gather your equipment so what you're going to need is firstly the dye now the dye that i'm using is called brusho and what it is is basically just a powder dye and then you're going to also need is a little pot to put the um brush out in because because it's so powdery it's going to get everywhere so you're going to want a little container to catch it all in then you're going to want some brushes just any brushes it really don't matter and then you're going to need a spray bottle with water in and then you can get on to dyeing the top so when you're dyeing the top you're going to want to get the brush and just dip it in the powder um, the powdered dye and then just sprinkle all of the dye around the top so pretty self-explanatory just put it all around the top sprinkle it wherever you want and then you just have to grab the water spray bottle and spray it on top of the dye now at this point you're gonna see the dye actually turn into what you want it to look like that's why I personally like this um, this way of tie dye because with the other way of tie-dye where you have to tie it off and stuff you're kind of just winging it and then you're just hoping for the best and that it's going to look good with this way of dyeing it you can actually choose how it's going to look and you can put the dye where you want it to be also when you spray it it kind of opens up into like a i guess it looks a bit like fireworks which i think looks really cool
When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view so once you've done all of that and it's finished and it looks the way that you like, just hang it up. I hung mine up in the airing in our airing cupboard in my house, um, just because that dries quicker and yeah, it was easy. You can hang it outside if it's sunny outside. But yeah, and then once that is completely dry, it should be fine to wear right now. Um, personally when i can only really talk about experience because it's not it doesn't have instructions this like this brush oh this stuff doesn't come with instructions on how long you have to leave it to dry when you can wash it and whatever so i can only tell you on experience from this top all i'm saying is maybe leave it i guess you could do 24 hours as soon as it's dry it should be fine and then you could probably wash it and then it'll be fine um personally I, I would be a bit more cautious maybe leave it a couple of days and then wash it out just to make sure the dye is definitely set in because again there isn't any instructions so I don't really know what to um how long to leave it if you can't get your hands on the stuff that I use which is called brusho maybe like you can buy powdered dyes which you add water to and then you obviously dye clothes um which you can use for like tie dye and whatever I'm just thinking maybe that would work pretty much the same just get some powdered dye and then when you scrub water onto it it will probably end up the same way wouldn't it i don't know <laughs> okay so now this is the finished product i think it looks really really nice i love the way it looks i think it looks really cool and it was really fun to make it pulls you straight down okay so that is the diy top i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you know you go out and try it because it is a really fun way of just spicing up an old t-shirt that you might have and i think it looks really cool if you do try out any of this make sure to tag me on instagram and twitter because i'd love to see your recreations of it because i think it's a really cool idea and i'm pretty sure i haven't seen this method anywhere on the internet like i haven't seen this like on pinterest on youtube anywhere i haven't seen it anywhere so uh feel pretty creative if i do say so myself and thanks for watching make sure to subscribe for new videos every week what i'm trying to do every week i try i have a lot of fun videos planned for this summer though so stay tuned um but anyway thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye my freaking blue fingers i look like a freak